The Wanderer! The Wanderer is real! Can we get much higher? So high. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Can we get much higher? So high. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Embers! Welcome to the channel. Final Flame here, and I can't believe that Wanderer is right around the corner. In literally, like what, less than two weeks, Wanderer is going to be an official character that's going to be playable. And I have to say, he looks dope. Easily one of the cleanest looking characters I have seen within the Genshin Impact being released. Like, he looks like he's probably going to be the most fun and emo character to release to date. I'm talking more fun than Kazuha. And that's saying something, because Kazuha is really, really fun. But, real, real talk. The Wanderer seems like he's going to be a great addition to the game. I can't wait to see how he ends up, you know, kind of fitting in to the whole play scheme. I have a few teams myself that I'm thinking about, maybe like some Freeze and Hydro, or you know, some other things I'm just uh, rambling on. So, quick thing, I was not able to stream the live stream today as promised because I fell asleep and I overslept, and apparently my alarms were not going off. So, that is completely on me, sorry about that. But I do wanna just, you know, take a few minutes to talk about the Wanderer, his kit, and everything that he does within the game. So, first things first, the Wanderer's elemental skill is probably the coolest thing about him. The fact that he's able to basically, well, you know, fly <laughs> and fight enemies is pretty dope. And have you noticed that his wind blade slash slashes uh, actually seem to rip like fissures in reality? So it kind of has a bit of a reminiscence to the Raiden Shogun, which is pretty dope in itself. So I kind of like that he has his own kind of reality bending attacks. So I'm really enjoying that. But the fact that he's able to fly opens up a lot of possibilities. At first, I was really just thinking about how cool it is offensively, but also defensively it's pretty dope. Because think about it, if you're able to fly and most enemies can't hit you while you're midair, he basically cuts off like a bunch of d damage that a character may take in normal combat. Now, that's not to say that he's like immune from taking hits or anything. I imagine that if he gets hit hard enough while in midair, he's going to fall back to the earth like a rock. But that really comes into the incorporation of like shielders such as Layla, for example. I feel like Layla is going to be a great character to go with him in the future once he finally releases. And, you know, other characters, Diona, Zong Li, whoever you want. And also, due to the fact that he's a long-range catalyst user, means that he doesn't actually need to sit there and chase enemies down, and he could just sit there and, you know, wall up from them from above. Now, I gotta say, this probably feeds the mess into his ego, but I like it a lot. And his elemental burst, oh my gosh, his elemental burst is probably one of the most disrespectful and aggressive <laughs> bursts I have ever seen, but it is so him. And I gotta say that they nailed it. I love how he's like, you dare to touch me? <laughs> and then he just like makes a giant, like compresses the air beneath him and causes like an explosion. That's really, really dope. So overall though, I have to say Scaramouche is looking to be a super, super fun character. And honestly, I am 100% down for this. Now, I don't know how good he is going to be, like, you know, meta-wise or damage-wise, or if he's gonna be better than Zhao or worse than Zhao, but personally, I'm not really caring at this point, because let's be real, Genshin Impact is pretty easy, especially with what I saw, what they did to the Hypostatic Symphony event. You really don't need to care too much, it seems, about damage checks, unless you're doing, like, Spiral Abyss. So, you really don't need your character to be the strongest. And due to him being a five-star character, he's still gonna be pretty strong. So I believe Skaramouche, at the least, if he's not like crazy strong, he's going to be strong enough. 
so I don't think anybody needs to worry about picking him up. He's definitely going to be able to clear any content you need him to, as long as he's not, you know, like, resisted by, like, somebody that's immune to Animo. But overall, I have to say, Scaramouche, aka The Wanderer, I keep saying Scaramouche, I'm sorry, The Wanderer looks like he's going to be an amazing pickup for anybody who just enjoys his aesthetic, who enjoys the character, and who just wants to have fun. And honestly, I am 100% down for a character like this because at this day and age, if, you know, combat, well, hardcore combat is not the focus, then having fun and having unique characters that can be incorporated into teams is definitely the way to go. And it seems like Hoyoverse is getting that, so I am 100% down with this character. Not to mention, I really like his whole aesthetic, I love his whole skill set. He looks like he's going to be an amazing addition to anybody's roster, and a lot of people are going to enjoy the playstyle that he will be bringing to the game. So yeah, other than that, I hope you guys just keep burning bright, and until next time, Lato.